Yeah, hi, so Richard Price, I'm the head of FSI for TIPCO UK and Ireland, uh, working with the team to bring uh, our propositions to the market in the UK uh, for financial services covering banking, insurance and cap markets. I think there's a couple of areas that have been interesting. Um, where you look at a lot of commonality between the clients and some of the uh, presentations we've seen, uh, they're all facing very similar challenges. Um, what was interesting for me to see is the difference in the cultural approach to that, so how they tackle innovation, the partnerships that they create, um, and the culture that they use to drive that adoption forward is, uh, is probably the, the interesting differential. Um, from a more uh, process point of view, I think the, 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 the positioning of risk where you have that juxtaposition between uh, risk as a, as a break on uh, customer service and potentially a threat to that, um, how that can actually be used to further enrich the customer experience uh, with, with some companies that seem to have got it right. So it's a fairly broad uh, uh, showcase for us in terms of the technologies and the, and the uh, solutions that we provide into the market. Our central theme really has been around uh, the innovation around collecting data, the, the initial data set, how to then bring data science to that and, and industrialize and operationalize that at scale. So TIBCO uh, kind of intervenes in a number of points through the through a customer journey for most clients. We have the heritage of working with most of the large banks in terms of their integration and business process element. Um, whilst that's seen as part of the legacy infrastructure, is how do you connect that to partners? How do you connect that out to um, uh, the edge in terms of new devices? But actually augmenting that with the analytic capabilities that we can bring to bear. So one of the things we notice uh, at TIBCO is in the conversations we're having with clients is where they are in that uh, maturity of their digital transformation strategy. Um, I think a lot of benefit has been seen by clients, including Mercedes, uh, as a different example where we've been able to deliver value early in the stage, but then deliver that at scale. So how to truly operationalize um, you know, the processes that they want to achieve, the analytics they want to achieve throughout the journey of the, uh, the engagement. I really think there's, there's kind of a different level of maturity of digital strategy and transformation within a lot of the customer base. So our benefit and our, our approach has really been to share some of the experiences we've seen over the last five years, um, helping uh, customers define that journey, helping them define the scope, um, but also bring some practical advice to, to drive value early in the engagement. So I think you'll see a huge uh, increase still in, in the, the use of AI as a, as a uh, terminology, um, but I think you'll get that more defined. So um, both in terms of the big data challenge and, and cloud coming to bear, which is a, a sweet spot for us, um, in terms of actually the big compute that goes behind big data to drive the AI, but actually driving that further out through the process to you know, the edge, uh, where you have low, low AI in things like uh, terminals exchange for, for fraud capture, for example. So you probably see a bigger spread of where AI can be applied through the journey.